For today's lesson, we're going to Peru to talk about teachers unions. Okay, so uh, here in uh, Puno, Peru, which is uh, uh, along the shores of Lake Titicaca, but anyway, uh, what you saw there was the uh, protest, the uh, uh, massive parade uh, down the pedestrian street here in the Plaza de Armas, where they had speeches and everything. The teachers have been on strike. They're into their second month of the strike right now. And um, one of the problems with public education, now I've been a public educator most of my life, so I'm not uh, advocating against it directly, but what I want to point out is that the problem with public education is that price is not a factor. And once you eliminate price from the equation, you really ruined a lot of the situation. So the people who are getting the education aren't paying for it directly. Obviously, they're paying for it in taxes, but not everybody's paying the same amount. So that's one problem that we have third party people paying uh, for other people's fair share. And more importantly is the contract is between the consumer and the producer. The producers being the teachers, the contract with the teachers is with the government. So you may have noticed signs, um, what's his name, uh, Kaczynski, this people, president of Peru, um, apparently has no real strong interest in negotiating teachers that's what the teachers tell me um, I was told that starting salary was around uh, 1,200 soles a month which is really not very much when it's uh, three and a quarter soles per US dollar so maybe $400 a month is what they're making as a salary now the cost of living is very different here so we really can't compare that to uh, what a, a US teacher makes but the problem is price is out of the equation so instead of the producers the teachers contracting with parents, the, that is the consumers, um, we now have them contracting with the government. The government has no desire to give them any more money. So whether they should or shouldn't, I don't know. But uh, I do know that the biggest problem with education is when you eliminate price from the, the market. Let's talk a little bit about public versus private sector teachers and unions. In the public sector, every teacher across the region is going to get the exact same contract. In the private sector, some schools may provide better or worse contracts, depending. Uh, that's one of the differences. In the case of uh, public sectors, if there's a strike, either everybody's on strike or nobody's on strike. So if everybody's on strike, no one gets taught. In the private sector, only individual schools or school districts would be on strike, and therefore not everyone would be affected. In um, New York State, there's something called the Taylor Law, and following that, the Triborough Amendment, which limits the ability for New York State teachers to strike. In fact, if they do, they'll go to jail. Uh, the, the, that's the downside. The positive for them is that uh, things that are negotiated in the contract are automatically renewed in that contract, unless otherwise stated. So 
uh, makes it difficult for administrators to negotiate items out of the contract that are lucrative for teachers. Now, um, if you're in a public sector teachers union, you don't have the same incentive to uh, attract customers, so therefore you don't have the same incentive for continuous improvement. Whereas in the private sector, you've got to be in a competitive market, and so you're constantly looking to be better than the competition. Unhappy students, of course, in a public sector school have no choice. They're going to remain in that failing school. Whereas in the private sector, unhappy students do have a choice. They can go elsewhere.